never went in for an oil change, but wound up with an owl change at a repair <laughs> shop in New Hampshire, you might say. Workers at the Pet Boys in Salem were met with a tiny creature when they popped open the hood. It was an eastern screech owl sitting right on the engine. And as Michael Cross shows us, the workers and the car owner thought the whole thing was a real who. It was right here, just sitting on top of the airbox. Anthony Delendick, amazed at who, was staring back at him. Just kind of shocked. I can't, just couldn't believe it. I thought it was, I thought it was fake, but... Uh, it was real. As the owl gazed at Anthony and his colleagues, the manager ran and got the SUV's owner, Terry LaPella. You know, and he's saying, oh, I don't know if he's real. And I'm like, it's a joke. And I'm thinking, somebody just put a stuff thing there. And then I saw the eye go, he was like looking not at me, but the eye went. Terry and the Pet Boy staff keeping their eyes on the owl until Salem PD and Animal Control arrived. This is a unusual call. Uh, most likely it was crawling up there during the cold morning or evening hours trying to be warm or chasing a mouse. PD naming the little guy Shazam, later enlisting the help of rehabilitation specialist Jane Kelly. He's 165 grams. Kelly identifying the apple green-eyed and reddish-brown bird as an eastern screech owl. You know, his keel is nice, his muscle tone is nice, uh, he's quiet, and he, um, it looks like he has a, an injury to his right wing. Shazam will eventually head for x-rays and get an assessment on his wing. This will be a story to tell for a while. Kelly says they'll monitor Shazam over the next three to four weeks to see how he's healing. Reporting in Salem, New Hampshire, I'm Mike LaCrosse, WBZ News. Shazam. He could, you know, fly. So it's maybe amazing. that was it. Yeah, it's amazing how calm he was. She's just holding on to him. He's like, yeah, here I am. Get me out of that car. There it is. I think that was it. <laughs>